this program, I want to accept an input from the terminal. The terminal is this little window down here. So basically a user will be presented with a prompt to enter a string of characters. So I'm just going to create a string variable up here. I'm going to call it terminal underscore input. So this is the name of a variable that I'm going to create to hold a string. A string is just a sequence of characters, or in this case, an input that the user will be prompted with. I'm going to set that equal to, now this function is going to be called input function. So it's literally called input. Then in parentheses, I'm going to do parentheses and then I'm going to do quotations. And I'm going to say, type the string here, enter something. So I've typed in enter something. I'm going to put a colon and then I'm going to put a space and then close that with close quotation marks. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type the print command. This will print something to the terminal. In this case, I'm simply going to print what I have stored in the terminal underscore input variable, which is the string that the user will type. So I'm going to say terminal underscore input. All right. Now I can go down here to my command line and then I can come. We'll start. We'll launch this program. I'll type Python and the name of the program demo.py. I'll hit enter. Now, you notice that it says enter something in the terminal window. So literally, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter something. I'm going to enter my name, Greg space Powell, and then I'm going to hit enter. When I hit enter, it repeats my name, Greg Powell. So it's two lines of code. I created a string variable called terminal underscore input to store the string from the input. I set it equal to the input function which is designed to prompt the user with something to do, which we typed enter something. Then when that runs, it will accept an input of a string, which in this case, I typed my name, Greg Powell. Once I hit enter, that gets stored into the terminal underscore input variable. And then the print here prints the terminal underscore input, that string of characters that we typed, which is my name, out to the terminal. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know.